party at my place tonight. I really need you to come. <laughs> Sounds urgent. It is. A new guy just moved in down the hall from me. Totally my type. Which is? Harry. <laughs> Love Harry guys, Jane. I'm telling you, there is nothing sexier than a guy who can cornrow his back hair. <laughs> Trudy, I would love to help you out there, but I'm going to some charity dinner with Chelsea tonight. Good morning, everyone. Oh, hey. morning. Mr. John, can you and Guy make it to my place tonight? Oh, Trudy, would if we could, but uh, Guy and I have had a bit of a row. What about? Well, my parents are flying in from London. Your parents are still alive? <laughs> no, Terry, they're dead. <laughs> but British Air are having a wonderful offer this month. Fly two dead people for the price of one. <laughs> So what's the problem? The folks don't like Guy? They've never met him. Never? Well, don't they wonder about the man that you've been living with for the last 20 years? No, you see, whenever they come to visit, Guy packs his things and moves out until they're gone. See, how can people be so intolerant? What is your parents' problem? Well, it's not their problem, it's mine. Fact of the matter is, I, uh, I never told them I was gay. Oh, honey. Don't you think that's a formality at this point? <laughs> How do you think they'll take the news? Well, I'm not sure about my mother, but my father. I shudder to think. He's a decorated war hero, still an active member of his hunt club. But you have to tell them. Yes, yes, I do. He is weary of our charade. He left this morning and said, unless I tell my parents the truth, he's not coming back. I'm afraid I've lost him forever. I'm sorry, I fell apart just then. <laughs> Chelsea Stevens, she's the queen of style, it's true. House and garden, Chelsea shows you what to do. You've read her magazine, you've seen her books. Chelsea knows about important things. Like cookery and napkin rings. Chelsea Stevens! Stop, stop the music! What are you doing? I told you we couldn't afford this title sequence, Chelsea. I am running the company now. Well, what do you want to do, just slap our logo over a horn of plenty? No. I have to do everything myself around here. Good evening. Now, my name's David. Right this way. Jane, stand up straight. You have a perfectly presentable bust. Show it off. <laughs> we're trying to find her a man. No, no, we're not. My friend here is just trying to be funny. Ha. Huh? Well, here you are. Enjoy your evening. David, excuse me. What is this? Your table. We're trying to make a point about hunger in this country. People with blue ribbons sit at a table and eat a gourmet meal. People with yellow ribbons, you are the poor. You sit on the floor and eat rice and peas with your hands. David, not to be argumentative, but I don't think even the poor do that. David, really, this is fine. I love rice and peas. Listen, do you think maybe you could find us a couple of blue tags? <laughs> or one? I've heard that. I'm sorry, Miss Stevens. Uh, if you excuse me, I have some other people to seat. Well, at least tell me there's a sorbet between courses! Jason, can we please just sit down? Maybe next time you will read the invitation. Okay. Uh, Jane, cover me. I'm in trouble here. on the ice. Oh, God. What? Grant's here. Your ex? He's got a date. I wonder if that's the woman he left me for. The checkout girl from the supermarket? <laughs> Thank you, Jane. This lovely lady behind you is still sketchy on some of the details. <laughs> this divorce has been a nightmare. He wants the house on Martha's Vineyard. Yeah, well, you can imagine what I said to that. The day you get that house is the day I bring home a store-bought pie. <laughs> oh, God, he's coming over here. Jane, where am I gonna hide? On the one night I need a table. Chelsea? Grant! Hello, hello. How you been? Just, uh, just, I, 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 excuse me. This is, uh, Jane Sokol. Jane, hey, nice to meet you. I uh, hope you don't believe everything you've heard about me. Oh, I, I haven't heard anything much. You look fantastic. 
navy has always been a great color on you. That's true, but this is black. <laughs> My mistake. Well, we all make them. Speaking of which, who's that? Darlene. She's pretty. She still work at the grocery store? No, she quit so that we could uh, spend more time together. <gasps> she gave it all up, did she? The thrill of double coupon days. <laughs> what a sacrifice. <laughs> I'm sure she's not feeling too bad after all prom times right around the corner. I'll be going now. Good night, Jane. Nice to meet you. Goodbye, Chelsea. Goodbye, Grant. Chelsea? Hi. I just wanted to make sure that you were okay after last night. No, don't worry about me. I feel fantastic. I feel better than fantastic. Really? If you want to worry about someone, worry about Grant. He looked awful. Well, I thought he looked fine. Well, you didn't know him before. The man's lost weight. He's haggard. And that's not all. I hear he's seeing a shrink. Where did you hear that? Well, I didn't hear it. I saw it. I was following him last week, and he went to a shrink's <laughs> office. You followed him? You were stalking the man? I wasn't stalking him. Gee, follow someone around for a couple of days and all of a sudden it's stalking. <laughs> oh, and that's not the most amazing thing. What about that woman? Darlene? I prefer that woman. Okay, now, Jane, think before you answer. Who did that woman remind you of? Oh, I know. I know what you mean. Who does she look exactly like? Donna Mills. <laughs> no, Jane, me. She looks exactly like me. But do you really think I look like Donna Mills? Ooh, she's pretty. All right, wait a minute. So about that woman? Oh, it is so obvious. He realized he made a mistake by cheating on me, but he doesn't have the guts to come back and beg for forgiveness, so he does the only other thing that he can do. He finds another me. You think so? Oh, I know so. He doesn't want the house on Martha's Vineyard. He's just using that as an excuse to keep in touch with me. Well, he's gonna get touched. I've got him right where I want him, and I'm gonna pay him back for what he did to me. I'm gonna make him crawl on his belly like the snake that he is, that spineless rat. He's gonna squirm. You're still in love with him. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Everyone, I'd like you to meet my mother and father. <laughs> this is Trudy, Jane, and Terry. And these are my parents, Elizabeth and Hadley John III. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you all. Oh, Mrs. John and I are thrilled beyond all belief. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, my goodness, what a firm grip. Oh, 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 oh. stop, you brute. <laughs> oh, would you care to sit down? Yes, yes, of course. So, uh, you folks enjoying your trip to New York City? Oh, my goodness, what a, what a strapping hunk of a boy you are. <laughs> we've, uh, we've just seen uh, The King and I. Oh, do you like musicals, Mrs. John? Despise them. He lives for them. <laughs> now you know why I couldn't tell him about, uh, you, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jane, can I talk to you about... Oh, well, 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 you must be Mr. John's parents. I'm Chelsea Stevens. How do you do? Oh, look at her, Mother. Oh, what an exquisite creature you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and a special of mine just aired in England, I assume you saw it? Oh, no, I, I don't think so. It was on opposite wrestling. <laughs> you got into a trance whenever it's on. <laughs> well, I just popped out to say hi. Please uh, help yourself to a scone. Cheerio. <laughs> God save the Queen. Uh, Hadley. Uh, yes, Daddy. Uh, your mother is... Uh, Rather desperate to visit the loo. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, folks. That's not here. That's in Paris. <laughs> no, the bathroom, Terry. Take them back to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on, this way. <laughs> so, okay. your father was a war hero. Yes, he helped liberate France. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did 
Did he help them redecorate too? <laughs> I beg your pardon? Uh, I think what Trudy is trying to say is that telling your parents that you're gay might not be that big a problem. How do you mean? Um, <laughs> okay, this isn't easy. Uh, 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 I want to say this the right way. Your father is a huge flamer. <laughs> My eyebrows are gone. How dare you? My father is a man's man. Let me rephrase that. Shame on you, Trudy. Nothing bothers me more than people who make judgments about others based solely on appearances. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be sensitive here. But the New York City Fire Department, using every available piece of equipment in the tri-state area, could not put your father out. <laughs> Well, there's obviously one thing you don't know, Trudy. What's that? You never jump to conclusions about men from England. Because as any world traveler will tell you, there is a very fine line between British and gay. <laughs> yes, Jane? Terry just told me that your ex-husband is coming by. Yes, well, given his obvious feelings for me, I thought I'd give him the chance to come and tell me in person how he really feels. Chelsea, I really don't think that's such a good idea. Yes. Hello? <laughs> yes, Terry. Miss Stevens? No, this is the Thai restaurant down the block. Can I help you? Oh, uh, do you have those real spicy pod stickers? <laughs> Terry, it's me. It's me. What do you want? Mr. Stevens is here. Send him in. Chelsea, are you sure you want to do this? Jane, I so appreciate your support. Now get out. Hi. Hi. Hi, Grant. Come on in. Thanks for coming. Jane was just leaving. Bye. Bye. You said you wanted to talk? Yes, please sit down. It was great seeing you the other night. Uh, sorry that you got the uh, rice and peas, but you were a good sport. <laughs> well, thanks. Actually, I wasn't that good a sport. When she wasn't looking, I swiped half a prime rib off Mia Farrow's plate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I assume you called me here because you're ready to talk about the house. Uh, in case you're ready to sign it over, I've brought a deed of transfer. It's bright in here, don't you think? I mean, nobody looks good under fluorescence. <laughs> So, uh, you were saying? Oh, uh, if you just, uh, sign at the bottom. Do you mind if I eat? It's just been a crazy schedule around here. Ooh, yum. <gasps> Duck sausage on homemade focaccia with roasted red peppers and a mustard dill mayonnaise. Ooh, that looks tasty. That was my favorite sandwich. No, that's right, it was. Oh, remember those nights we used to go down to the duck pond with a blanket and a bottle of Chardonnay and a shotgun? <laughs> Wait for a big fat one to fly by. Uh, happier times. Anyway, I think this is fair. Really, the house in the vineyard is the only thing I want. Is that so, Grant? Are you so sure that the house is uh, all that you want? <laughs> Chelsea, what are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Licking the back of my neck. It's okay, Grant, I know. You know what? You want me, you need me. I do have a need. Tell me. I need you to stop licking me. Grant, I, I suggest you make your move. My tongue's getting really salty. <laughs> I don't know what you're up to here, but it is over between us. I mean, you're going to have to let me go. Uh, uh, hello? I have to let you... You know, Grant, I'm, I'm sure that it's very it's so deep <laughs> that you don't even realize it. Realize what? That woman! Darlene? Why does everyone feel the need to say her name? <laughs> it is so obvious what you're doing. She's just a poor imitation of me. Now, why would you say that? Because she's a dead ringer for me. About that, I have been in therapy recently. Grant, no. Yes. 
I have recently had an amazing revelation. You still want me? No, I still want Sherry Threlfill. <laughs> Sherry Threlfill? She was my high school love. Oh, she was so beautiful. She was tall, blonde, blue-eyed. I was so happy. <laughs> then one day I went to pick her up from school. Her family had moved. I never saw her again. But my therapist tells me that I've been spending my life looking for Sherry. That's all I was, Grant? A replacement? That's all I ever was? You know, if you just sign that, I'll be on my way. Yeah, sure. N later. I'm kind of busy right now. Okay, okay, okay. Goodbye. Grant, it might not be important, but you might want to mention to your therapist that your mother was also tall and blonde with blue eyes. <laughs> no, I don't think that that's... <laughs> Hey, a uh, quick question. Wardrobe called, and they're redoing your aprons. Want to know if you want Chelsea or Chelsea Stevens across the front? Neither. Turns out I'm Sherry. From now on, just call me Sherry. <laughs> right, okay. But if you're going to be called Sherry, then I want to be called Buck, because Buck's a cool name, huh? <laughs> Well, I suppose we should be getting back to the apartment. You'll want a nap before going out tonight. Oh, Father, Father, wait. Wait just a minute. There's something I have to tell you. I've been putting it off, but uh, I can't any longer. What is it? Well, there's no easy way to say this. So I'll just say it and hope you understand and accept it. Mother, Father, I'm a homosexual. I hope you're happy. <laughs> yes, it's your fault. It was your influence who turned him this way. You coddled him. You gave him too much breast. Shelley, darling, thank you for sharing your news. And tell me, is there a special someone? Yes, there is. His name is Guy. A Frenchman. Are you trying to kill us? <laughs> Please, have you a photo of the young man? Yes, yes, I do. I took this uh, last time we were on holiday. Oh, very handsome. Is that a Speedo? Yes. Well, I can see you make him very happy. <laughs> I find it so hard to accept. I have to tell you, Father, and honestly, what did you think I was all these years? A dedicated bachelor, like your Uncle Harry. Yes, well, about Uncle Harry. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Father, I spent my adult years afraid of your rejection. I refused to spend my senior years living under that cloud. Now, Guy is my family. My fondest desire is for you to accept him as one of our family. Very well. What, just like that? <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. At 93, you have to make quick decisions. <laughs> uh, son, if you are half as happy with this man as I've been with your mother, how could I possibly stand in your way? Oh, I love you both very much. I just insist on one thing. What's that? We mustn't tell your grandmother. It'll kill her. <laughs> Yes, well, about grandmother. <laughs> Chelsea, I'm leaving. Good night. You know that woman? Who? Darlene. The woman who's you? Well, it turns out she's not me. I'm not even me. I'm just a cheap imitation of Grant's high school sweetheart. Or his mother. By the way, it's not good. Well, at least you know what he's thinking. Now maybe you can just sign these papers and be free of him. I'd like to, Jane, but I, I can't. I can't let him go. After everything that he's done to you? I know, it's pathetic, isn't it? All right, come here. Come with me. Yes. Come on, come with me. 
I want you to take a good look at yourself well, in this mirror. I, what? I, I don't have a mirror. <laughs> I, I have a compact in my purse. You know what? Never mind. Chelsea, the next time you take out your compact, I want you to take a good look. You know what you're going to see? You are going to see a beautiful, vibrant, talented woman who deserves to be genuinely happy. Mm. Not somebody holding on to a future that never will be. I guess it's easy to hold on to a future that'll never be when there's nothing else to hold on to. Chelsea, you'll be okay. Just sign the paper. I'll think about it. Call me if you need me. something for me. Take this envelope, run downstairs, and put it in the mailbox. Don't bring it back, not even if I beg you to. Go, Terry. Buck, just go. <laughs> should go. I've only allotted us an hour to get down to the car. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Have a wonderful flight. Thank you so much for coming. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, I stand corrected. I don't think his father's gay. What changed your mind? Well, when he hugged me goodbye, he grabbed my ass. <laughs> Thank God, I thought I was the only one. He grabbed mine, too. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. <laughs> couldn't tell him about, uh, you, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jane, can I talk to you about... Oh, well, 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 you must be Mr. John's parents. I'm Chelsea Stevens. How Please do you do? Oh, look at her, Mother. Oh, what an exquisite creature you are. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and a special of mine just aired in England, I assume you saw it? Oh, no, I, I don't think so. It was on opposite wrestling. <laughs> into a trance whenever it's on. <laughs> well, I just popped out to say hi. Please uh, help yourself to a scone. Cheerio. <laughs> God save the queen. Uh, Hadley. Uh, yes, Daddy. Uh, your mother is uh, rather desperate to visit the loo. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, folks. That's not here. That's in Paris. <laughs> No, the bathroom, Terry. Take them back to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, okay. Come right this way. <laughs> so, okay. father was a war hero. Yes, he helped liberate France. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did he help them redecorate, too? I beg your pardon? Uh, I think what... Trudy is trying to say is that telling your parents that you're gay might not be that big a problem. How do you mean? Um, <laughs> okay, this isn't easy. Uh, 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 I want to say this the right way. Your father is a huge flamer. <laughs> Trudy, come on! I spent five minutes with the guy. My eyebrows are gone. How dare you? My father is a man's man. Let me rephrase that. 
Shame on you, Trudy. Nothing bothers me more than people who make judgments about others based solely on appearances. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be sensitive here. But the New York City Fire Department, using every available piece of equipment in the tri-state area, could not put your father out. <laughs> Well, there's obviously one thing you don't know, Trudy. What's that? You never jump to conclusions about men from England. Because as any world traveler will tell you, there is a very fine line between British and gay. <laughs> yes, Jane? Terry just told me that your ex-husband is coming by. Yes, well, given his obvious feelings for me, I thought I'd give him the chance to come and tell me in person how he really feels. Chelsea, I really don't think that's such a good idea. Yes, oh, Mum. Yes, yes, I do. He is weary of our charade. He left this morning and said, unless I tell my parents the truth, he's not coming back. I'm afraid I've lost him forever. I'm sorry, I fell apart just then. <laughs> Chelsea Stevens, she's the queen of style, it's true. House and garden, Chelsea shows you what to do. You've read her magazine, you've seen her books. Chelsea knows about important things. Like cookery and napkin rings. Chelsea Stevens! Stop, stop the music! What are you doing? I told you we couldn't afford this title sequence, Chelsea. I am running the company now. Well, what do you want to do, just slap our logo over a horn of plenty? No. have to do everything myself around here. Good evening. Now, my name's David. Right this way. Jane, stand up straight. You have a perfectly presentable bust. Show it off. <laughs> we're trying to find her a man. No, no, we're not. My friend here is just trying to be funny. Huh? Well, <laughs> here you are. Enjoy your evening. David, excuse me. What is this? Your table. We're trying to make a point about hunger in this country. Uh, people with blue ribbons sit at a table and eat a gourmet meal. People with yellow ribbons, you are the poor. You sit on the floor and eat rice and peas with your hands. David, not to be argumentative, but I don't think even the poor do that. David, really, this is fine. I love rice and peas. Listen, do you think maybe you could find us a couple of blue tags? Or one? I heard that. I'm sorry, Miss Stevens. If you excuse me, I have some other people to seat. Well, at least tell me there's a sorbet between choruses! Jason, can we please just sit down? Maybe next time you will read the invitation. Okay. Oh, Jane, cover me. I'm in trouble here. on the ice. Oh, God. What? Grant's here. Your ex? But he's got a date. I wonder if that's the woman he left me for. The checkout girl from the supermarket? <laughs> Thank you, Jane. This lovely lady behind you is still sketchy on some of the details. <laughs> this divorce has been a nightmare. He wants the house on Martha's Vineyard. Yeah, well, you can imagine what I said to that. The day you get that house is the day I bring home a store-bought pie. <laughs> oh, God, he's coming over here. Jane, where am I going to hide? On well, the one night, I need a table. Chelsea? <laughs> yes, well, about grandmother. <laughs> Chelsea, I'm leaving. Good night. You know that woman? Who? Darlene. The woman who's you? Well, it turns out she's not me. I'm not even me. I'm just a cheap imitation of Grant's high school sweetheart. Or his mother. By the way, it's not good. <laughs> well, at least you know what he's thinking. Now maybe you can just sign these papers and be free of him. I'd like to, Jane, but I, I can't. Can't let him go. After everything that he's done to you? I know, it's pathetic, isn't it? All right, come here. Come with me. What? Come on, come with me. I want you to take a good look at yourself well, in this mirror. I, what? I, I don't have a mirror. 
I, I have a compact in my purse. You know what? Never mind. Chelsea, the next time you take out your compact, I want you to take a good look. You know what you're going to see? You are going to see a beautiful, vibrant, talented woman who deserves to be genuinely happy. Mm. Not somebody holding on to a future that never will be. I guess it's easy to hold on to a future that'll never be when there's nothing else to hold on to. Chelsea, you'll be okay. Just sign the paper. I'll think about it. Call me if you need me. something for me. Take this envelope, run downstairs, and put it in the mailbox. Don't bring it back, not even if I beg you to. Go, Terry. Buck, just go. <laughs> should go. I've only allotted us an hour to get down to the car. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you so much for coming. Bye-bye. Was it wrestling? <laughs> you got into a trance whenever it's on. <laughs> well, I just popped out to say hi. Please uh, help yourself to a scone. Cheerio. <laughs> God save the queen. Uh, Hadley. Uh, yes, Daddy. <laughs> Your mother is uh, rather desperate to visit the loo. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, folks. That's not here. That's in Paris. <laughs> Look, the bathroom, Terry. Take them back to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on, this way. <laughs> so, okay. father was a war hero. Yes, he helped liberate France. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did he help them redecorate, too? I beg your pardon? Uh, I think what Trudy is trying to say is that telling your parents that you're gay might not be that big a problem. How do you mean? Um, <laughs> okay, this isn't easy. Uh, 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 I want to say this the right way. Your father is a huge flamer. <laughs> My eyebrows are gone. How dare you? My father is a man's man. Let me rephrase that. Shame on you, Trudy. Nothing bothers me more than people who make judgments about others based solely on appearances. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be sensitive here. But the New York City Fire Department, using every available piece of equipment in the tri-state area, could not put your father out. <laughs> Well, there's obviously one thing you don't know, Trudy. What's that? You never jump to conclusions about men from England. Because as any world traveler will tell you, there is a very fine line between British and gay. <laughs> yes, Jane? Terry just told me that your ex-husband is coming by. Yes, well, given his obvious feelings for me, I thought I'd give him the chance to come and tell me in person how he really feels. Chelsea, I really don't think that's such a good idea. Yes. Hello? <laughs> yes, Terry. Miss Stevens? No, this is the Thai restaurant down the block. Can I help you? Oh, uh, do you have those real spicy pod stickers? <laughs> Terry, it's me. It's me. What do you want? Mr. Stevens is here. Send him in. Chelsea, are you sure you want to do this? Jane, I so appreciate your support. Now get out. <laughs> oh, it's pathetic, isn't it? All right. 
Come here. Come with me. Come on. Come with me. I want you to take a good look at yourself well, in this mirror. I, what? I, I, I don't have a mirror. <laughs> I have a compact in my purse. You know what? Never mind. Chelsea, the next time you take out your compact, I want you to take a good look. You know what you're going to see? You are going to see a beautiful, vibrant, talented woman who deserves to be genuinely happy. Mm. Not somebody holding on to a future that never will be. I guess it's easy to hold on to a future that'll never be when there's nothing else to hold on to. Chelsea, you'll be okay. Just sign the paper. I'll think about it. Call me if you need me. something for me. Take this envelope, run downstairs, and put it in the mailbox. Don't bring it back, not even if I beg you to. Go, Terry. Buck, just go. <laughs> should go. I've only allotted us an hour to get down to the car. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Have a wonderful flight. Thank you so much you. for coming. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, I stand corrected. I don't think his father's gay. What changed your mind? Well, when he hugged me goodbye, he grabbed my ass. <laughs> Thank God, I thought I was the only one. He grabbed mine, too. Yeah, I was wrong. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. <laughs> 